Good day, Acute Angels! Welcome to a new learning episode. This is Teacher Eliza, your grade 8 mathematics teacher. Today, you will learn about simplifying rational algebraic expressions. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to recall simplifying fractions and express rational algebraic expressions in simplest form. Recall that a rational number is a number that can be written as one integer divided by another integer, such as 1 divided by 2 or 1 half. This idea can be extended to algebraic expression. A rational expression is a polynomial divided by another polynomial, such as quantity x plus 1 divided by quantity 2x plus 3 or x plus 1 all over 2x plus 3. In your previous grade level, you learned the concepts of similar fractions, equivalent fractions, and simplifying fractions. Now, let us have a short review on how to simplify fractions. A fraction is said to be in simplified form when all pair of factors common to the numerator and the denominator have been removed. To simplify a fraction, we remove a factor equal to 1. Let us have an example. To simplify 9 over 15, we proceed as follows. First, factor out the numerator and the denominator. In this step, we write a product containing the prime factors of the numerator and the denominator. For the numerator, we have the prime factors of 9 which are 3 and 3. Whereas for the denominator, the prime factors of 15 are 5 and 3. After writing these prime factors, we proceed to dividing out the common factors. When we divide common factors, we are actually using a shortcut method known as cancellation. Cancellation is a method of dividing a factor in the numerator by the same factor in the denominator. For this example, we have 3 or we will cancel out 3 in the numerator and the denominator. And lastly, multiply the numerator by the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. So 3 fifths multiplied by 1 over 1 is equal to 3 fifths. So the simplified form of 9 over 15 is 3 fifths. So that is how we reduce a fraction to its lowest term. Similarly, a rational expression is said to be in its simplified form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. The process of simplifying rational algebraic expression is similar to simplifying fractions. That is, we write the rational algebraic expressions so that the numerator and the denominator have no common factors than 1. Here are the steps on simplifying rational algebraic expressions. First, factor completely the numerator and denominator. Number 2, divide out common factors if there is or are any or apply the cancellation rule. And number 3, multiply the remaining factors. Let us have example number 1. Express 8x squared y all over 12xy squared in the simplest form. First, factor the numerator and the denominator. We write first the prime factors of 8. The product of the prime factors of 8 is written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, followed by the factors of the variables x squared and y, which are x multiplied by x multiplied by y. Then we proceed to the denominator. The prime factors or the product of the prime factors of 12 is written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. And for the variables, we have x multiplied by y multiplied by y. 
Then we proceed with dividing out the common factors. The first common factors that we have is 2, another 2, the variable x, and the variable y. Then, multiply the remaining factors. 2 multiplied by x is equal to 2x, and 3 multiplied by y is equal to 3y. So the simplest form of the algebraic expression x 8x squared y all over 12xy squared is equal to 2x over 3y. Let us proceed with example number 2. Simplify x squared minus 9 all over x squared plus 6x plus 9. First, we factor the numerator and the denominator. In this example, the numerator is a difference of two squares. If you can still remember, the difference of the squares of two terms is the product of the sum and difference of those terms. So for this example, the factored form of x squared minus 9 is written as quantity x plus 3 multiplied by quantity x minus 3, wherein x is the square root of the first term x squared and 3 is the square root of the second term 9. Now, the denominator is a perfect square trinomial. As we all know, the factored form of a perfect square trinomial is a square of binomial. But this time, we will write the expanded form of that binomial. So the factored form of x squared plus 6x plus 9 is written as quantity x plus 3 multiplied by quantity x plus 3. Now after writing the factors of the numerator and the denominator, we proceed with canceling out the common factors. And we have a common factor here which is quantity x plus 3. And the remaining factors will be quantity x minus 3 over quantity x plus 3. So the simplified form of the algebraic expression x squared minus 9 all over x squared plus 6x plus 9 is equal to x minus 3 over x plus 3. Let us have our last example. Simplify 5x plus 15 all over x squared plus 8x plus 15. Let us factor first the numerator. To factor 5x plus 15, we have to get the GCF or greatest common factor of these two terms, and that is 5. And then, divide 5x by 5 and 15 by 5. 5x divided by 5 is equal to x, and 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. So the factored form of the numerator is written as 5 multiplied by quantity x plus 3. Then, for the denominator, x squared plus 8x plus 15 is a quadratic trinomial. Its factored form is written as the product of two binomials, and that is quantity x plus 3 multiplied by quantity x plus 5, wherein x is the square root of the first term x squared, and 3 and 5 are the factors of 15. Now, after writing the factors of the numerator and the denominator, let's cancel out the common factors. We have a common factor here which is x plus 3 or quantity x plus 3. And the remaining factors will be 5 all over x plus 5. So the simplified form of the rational algebraic expression 5x plus 5 all over x squared plus 8x plus 15 is equal to 5 all over x plus 5. And that ends our lesson on simplifying rational algebraic expression. Good job, grade 8 learners! Thank you for your time and effort. I hope you have learned a lot in this discussion. Again, this is teacher Eliza May Kunanan, your grade 8 mathematics teacher. Have a good day and God bless.